Hi guys, my name is Greena Gemskull and welcome to the Backyard Beautification live event. This live event came out with the new update, the home makeover update and the update looks absolutely amazing. If you haven't seen my video on the trailer, make sure you go and check that out. I'll put it down below in the description. The first thing that we are given in this new update is the Backyard Beautification live event. It has a time limit of nine days. Everything you need to design a stylish outdoor area that's perfect for entertaining. Collect craft items to unlock new prizes and choose the ones you want. So this live event comes out on the 13th of March and you can begin the event from the 13th to the 16th of March. If you're watching this video after that time, then you'll have to wait until The Sims Free Play brings this event back. They generally do tend to bring the events back every so often. The event is going to go along the same lines of all the other events where we collect candles and pottery. So let's go ahead and start collecting. If you have completed one of these live events before, you will kind of know what to do. If this is the first time you are completing one, it may confuse you slightly and you may have to go through the tutorial. The main aim of it is to collect as many arts and crafts as possible. There are four different stations, the candle station, the pottery station, the jewellery station and the glassware station. And the game does guide you through it, so if you are confused, just follow what it is telling you to do. I already have my stations placed from a previous event. If you haven't already got them placed, they'll be in your home store and in your inventory in the event items section. You will see that the jewellery station, glassware station, pottery station and candle station are all there. When you first start the event, you will only be able to use the candle station. I have my four candle stations lined up here, so let's just go ahead and start. Little tip. To get a little head start with your candles is to use get four sims over and to make 50 candles in 23 seconds on each one of the candle stations so if we do that with one sim second sim third sim and final sim you just get a little boost just to start off it's not massive but it does just help out a little bit with the event because these events can be really quite tricky to complete i know in the past i have really struggled to complete them and i am on the game an awful lot once the sim is finished, you can click on the candle above their head and you will get a little icon in the top left corner of your game, which is going to show the event progress. This is the event progress. You can see there's all these prizes along the top. So we get a rose starter kit, some, get some seating, outdoor counters, some fences, planter perfectionist and a designer backyard. The designer backyard is unlocked by claiming all of the previous prizes and definitely I would say you want to work towards that because we get barbecues, pizza ovens, bar tables, patio and pool tiles, feature fences, fountains, like it just sounds amazing so definitely want to work towards that but you can see that we've unlocked our first prize here, the plantable rose starter kit that costs 50 candles so we can go ahead and purchase that. We have unlocked that now. And we then can continue moving on. This shows our progress at the top. The next milestone is 850 items. We also have a little daily goal section, which you want to make sure that you are always coming back to to claim the constructor coins and any additional things that you can get. We've made some arts and crafts items, so that's task complete. Now we need to restock the crafting station. Stations do run out of stock. We can either restock for two uses, it's 10 seconds, or we can restock 18 uses, but that takes 10 SP. Now this is only the first time. The first time you do it, it's restock two uses for 10 seconds. Every time after that, it takes much longer to restock. We'll collect the other 50 candles from all of the other guys and we'll restock. The other aspect of this live event is the coin flower patch. We'll first off get them collecting candles. I would suggest doing the 2 hours and 30 minutes if you can get on your game regularly if you can't obviously you're going to do the eight hours 30 or whichever one works best for you but the two hours 30 minutes 250 candles the shortest time one is generally the best one to do let's go ahead and place a coin flower patch down and we need to spin this spin first one is free and this will give us constructor coins which is something else that we need to collect we spin it and let's see how lucky we are I'm never normally very lucky. No, two constructor coins, that's rubbish. After your first free one, it costs 450 candles to spin the spin plant, which I feel is quite expensive, to be honest, and constructor coins are quite often something 
that people struggle with collecting, not getting enough. It's telling us to check the daily goals, which we have already done, but we will go back and check them. One of the daily goals is to use the spin plant, so we'll claim that. You can also collect bonuses to get art and crafts items faster. With this event, you really just need to check in to your game as often as possible. You can see that candles have just popped up over a couple of these Sims heads. When they're working on it, bonus candles or bonus pottery, whichever station they're working at, bonus items will pop up and you just need to collect them and you just need to, if you can get on your game, it's literally sort of like every half an hour, if you can, which is crazy, but that's just what these live events are like. You just have to get on your game as often as possible. And yeah, they are quite hard and lots of people complain about them. I don't mind them, to be honest, but you just got to get on. You just got to grind and you just got to collect as much stuff as you can. You'll see that as you progress through, you will unlock being able to use the pottery station, the jewellery station and the glassware station. And you do win constructor coins and, so and social points along the way, but not that many. And then whenever you have enough arts and crafts to unlock the next prize, you can just go ahead and purchase them like we did with the first one. You can go ahead and look at what you're going to win which, oh my goodness, they're amazing. Let's have a little look. Can we look at the last one? Yes, we can. Designer backyard. <gasps> oh, okay, so this is a house template that we are going to win. Ooh. With some of the items. This is pretty cool. Look at those fences. They're awesome. And then it's got the backyard here with... A pizza oven, a cool barbecue. This is a nice, nice back garden, right? A pretty cool house template that you can get. It has some of the chalet furniture in. And, oh, it's got one of the mezzanine floor. Look at that. This is something else that we get with this update. Where we can do, like, two-tier floors. Oh, amazing. I am really, really looking forward to completing this event and winning all of the prizes. Let me know what you feel about these events down below in the comments. I do know, like I said, that lots of people <laughs> really do complain about these events that they're just like impossible to do. If you have any sort of life outside of Sims Free Play, they're impossible <laughs> to get done. So maybe I just don't have a life outside <laughs> of Sims Free Play. As we go through, as soon as I finish, if I do indeed finish, I will make a video on the prizes. But thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of the events down below in the comments. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.